Welcome to Bite Size Rando. My name is Didier Kirby. Today we're going to talk about this bomb jump uh, that's used in the freezer chest room to get from the left to the right side of this pit. Now there's a million different ways to route Ice Palace, uh, but this particular bomb jump is going to be the fastest way to get from freezer chest to uh, the ice to tea chest, assuming of course that you have a small key to get through this key door here. Now this bomb jump is commonly known as being uh, one of the easiest bomb jumps uh, to to uh, get consistently because there is a very large range of pixels that will work. But that is, of course, only the case if you know roughly where those pixels are located. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, now, before we get to the large window pixels that will work, uh, if you want to do this bomb jump kind of in a more traditional way, by doing a spin slash setup, you can do that. So you can use a spin slash setup to make sure you're as right, uh, as far to the right as possible without falling in. So I'm flush against the left hand edge of the pit. And there's a very large range of vertical coordinates that will work. So as long as I'm roughly aligned uh, with where the chest is, the bomb jump will succeed. In fact, I have some save states showing that you can be all the way down here and the bomb jump will work. And you can be all the way up here and the bomb jump will still work. So there's a very large range of Y coordinates that will work. Um, again, this is only if you are very uh, uh, you're flush against the edge of the pit. If you're even a little bit uh, more to the left, then the results are inconsistent depending on your Y position, and I would not recommend that. Um, but there's an easier way, and that is if we use the upper left corner uh, of this pit, there's a large uh, kind of triangle shape of pixels that will work. And I have some save states to kind of illustrate that. So uh, this position will work, this position will work, and any of these positions along this kind of diagonal line will also work for this, uh, for this bomb jump. So you see that kind of forms a sort of uh, triangle. And uh, if we move over here, I actually have that illustrated here. Uh, so here is a kind of big shadow, and I'm going to use a shadow lineup uh, for uh, this bomb jump, which is nice because shadows are consistent no matter which sprite you're using. You can see I have three, uh, a blue, a red, and a green shadow placed here. So if your shadow is on any of these three positions, the bomb jump will work. And if you're in between uh, these, these, these different shadows, it will also work. So you'll notice that these shadows form a kind of triangle, like I mentioned earlier. So basically, if my shadow is placed uh, anywhere inside this light blue triangle, uh, the bomb jump will succeed. So here will work, here will work, here will work, here will work. Out here will not work because you'll probably run into this uh, corner here. So you don't want to be outside of the triangle. So knowing that, let's make this a little bit easier uh, translucent, and let's try and see if we can come up with a setup to make sure that we're inside this triangle of pixels. What I like to do is I like to take a look at the bottom edge of my shadow, and I like to try and make sure that I am covering either one, two, or three of these bright, uh, these bright colored pixels that kind of form like a like an, a right a right pointed arrow. So I'll be here, here, or here. Uh, you have to be a little bit careful um, because if you uh, are covering three of those pixels, then moving any further down will probably cause you to start falling into the pit. So ideally, you only want to cover maybe one or two of those pixels. But try and cover just a little bit of this kind of rightward facing bright arrow. And then you'll want to make sure that your uh, uh, your shadow is horizontally centered uh, along this dark blue line that represents the edge of the pit. See this dark blue line? So you'll want to be roughly horizontally centered, and there's a lot of horizontal leeway here. You can be off two pixels to the left, and it'll still work. You can be even off three pixels to the right, and it'll still work as well. So you really have to be only very vaguely horizontally centered, and it'll work. Okay? So let's go back to the game, and let's try that setup. So we're going to move downward until we're covering at least a little bit of that. So we're covering one pixel of that bright uh, arrow looks like. And we are vaguely horizontally centered, so laying the bomb should work. I can try that one more time. So we'll nudge downward, and uh, this time I'm covering actually three of those pixels. So I'm a little bit close to falling over, uh, falling into the pit, but it's fine. And I'm roughly horizontally centered, lay the bomb, and I'll be good. And uh, you can also do it in the other order. You don't have to uh, go downwards and then check your horizontal positioning. You can check your horizontal positioning first. Uh, so make sure I'm roughly centered. And then I will nudge myself downwards bit by bit until I am covering at least a little bit of that uh, bright arrow. And it'll work. So full speed, open the chest, come over here, and then lay the bomb. And it should be really fast to set up. Right? And that is how you do that bomb jump. 
Uh, and of course, uh, if you didn't already know, the bomb jump going in the reverse direction is super easy. All you have to do is hold your sword out and uh, coming out of the door, just hold upward and then just lay the bomb right here in the corner and you'll get across no problem. So um, that one is even easier. Uh, so hopefully this helps you make sure that you don't never fall uh, and fail this bomb jump. It's really easy uh, as long as you know exactly where that triangle of pixels is to aim for. So that's the visual, visual setup that I use. Uh, you can feel free to come up with your own. That's what works for me, and hopefully that helps.